I'll go. Okay. Uh, Machi, say ya. Yeah. Machi means good morning. Yeah. Yeah. It actually means I bring you the good tidings of the morning. Mm -hmm. And you say ya. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's just the basic response. Mm -hmm. Our dialogue is such that if I am if you hear two people dialoguing and you but you can see them, you can hear them you will be able to tell the age group of the people that are dialoguing. You can tell the gender of the people that are dialoguing. So, if the brother here says marching, or the brother here says marching, I will say, ya eja, or ya ena. Ya eja means Good morning, when you say good morning, say fine morning, daddy. That is Eja. And Enna means good morning, ma'am. If an, any elderly lady greets me, I will say good morning, ma'am, or fine morning, ma'am. If it is an, somebody of my age, mate, yeah, Enya, fine morning, brother or sister. But we don't want you to go through all this. So we just say, yeah. yeah. OK. And you also heard me when I said, ago. Ago is a basic call for attention. When I say on this bus, ago, it means attention. Yeah. Somebody want to talk. <laughs> OK. So, OK. It means the turkey has his seat when he's done. Ago, we use it in three occasions. The first one on this bus is, can I have your attention when I say ago? So when you say Ami, you have agreed that I have your attention. So when you say Ami, you must not be talking in again. How did we get this? I'm thinking through this because you guys came here to learn something from Africa. Yes. Your Africa, my Africa. Wherever you are coming from is just where, somewhere we went to work. Now we are home. Yeah. After we're done with this, we'll retire back to workplace. So we had kings and queens. <laughs> and the Imagine. British said, Imagine. you are in the colony. We have the queen in England. How can you have queen, kings and queens again? Yours are chiefs. Derogatory. Yours are chiefs. So whenever our kings and queens had a message to disseminate, somebody would go around in the village, either beat a drum or beat a metallic piece called Doguru. One has a bass and one has a, a tenor. So, king, 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 gong, 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 gong. Then, when you hear this, there's an announcement coming up. And the announcement, the person's mandate is Nana and his elders are sitting in council. They want everybody at the forecourt. So, you are trooping in, Bomani is coming in, I'm coming in, brothers, sister Renee is coming in, the others. We got there without knowing why we are there, but we responded anyway. So when we got there, I'm asking Bomani, do you know why we are here? She's asking her, do you know why we are here? And as we do that, we generate conversation. That may sound, because it's so kind of a different people noise, but that's conversation. So when the king comes out, he can say, keep quiet. You know, if I say, keep quiet, I tell her, keep quiet, she may take it differently. Why did he yell at me? Why did he yell at why, why, why didn't he yell at her? So, but if I say, I have a yell, I just call your attention. If I say, I go, and if I say, keep quiet, maybe the brother back there may not even hear me. So, I go, 
three times, then there will be dead silence. Then the king and the queen and the elders will put up the message they have for us. That is one call for attention. The number one, the number two, is we do not have doorbells, but we had fences. We barricaded our buildings with straw fences. So I didn't just barge into your home. At the gate, I need to prompt you. I go fear. I go household. And then they'll say, oh, I mean, why maybe I'm coming. Wait, I mean, wait a minute. But because the person is in the house, she could be still, or he or she could be sitting there anyhow, anyhow. Now you have prompted me. I don't want you to see the state in which I am. Then I will cover myself. Then open the door. Oh, come in, Brim. Come in. Number three is when you find yourself in our regular market. We have the tourist market and we have our regular market. The regular market, I call them places of organized confusion. <laughs> I don't think there's any engineer that can draw the network in our market, especially those that don't have stores. It's just an open place. But I know my spot, you know your, your spot. Yes. I don't take your spot on a market day. You won't take his spot on a market day. So in such places, you have people that also provide porter services. They carry people's goods, shoppers, from the shopping center to their cars, or they cut goods from the warehouses to the retail shops. And some people can carry as try their own weight. So they are in distress and they want to move. The aisles are covered. So they say, I go, I go, I go, I go. Should we find ourselves in a marketplace? And you hear anybody say, I go, don't say I mean. Yeah. <laughs> just, just move to the side because somebody is in distress and need to move. So this is the first day or the second day in Accra. Accra is the national capital and the population of Ghana is about 30 million people.